your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I am going to talk about a rare but a lethal mechanical complication of an acute myocardial infarction. Ventricular septal rupture usually occurs due to the full thickness infarction of the interventricular septum which is often followed by sufficient necrosis to result in a septal rupture. Now it is one of the three mechanical complications that can occur following a myocardial infarction. Now post infarction ventricular septum rupture is potentially lethal mechanical complication of an acute myocardial infarction. The incidence of post infarction ventricular septum rupture has decreased from 1.2% to 0.25 to even 0.31%. Survival up to 1 month without any intervention is 6%. Given such high surgical mortality, the transcatheter closure has emerged as a potential strategy in selected cases. Now Indian data on the PCI that is the percutaneous device closure is scarce hence they report a single centered experience with the ASD occluded device for the closure of post acute myocardial infarction ventricular septum rupture now the study that i'm talking about is published in the indian heart journal now it is a single centered retrospective cohort study wherein patients who underwent a transcatheter closure of post myocardial infarction ventricular septum rupture were all included the primary outcome was mortality rate at 30 days now seven patients were included out of which five of them had an anterior wall myocardial infarction two had an inferior wall myocardial infarction while none of the patients received any thrombolytic therapy the device was successfully placed in five patients with minimal residual shunt in two out of the seven cases two even survived while cardiogenic shock the inferior wall myocardial infarction as well as the serpiginous form of ventricular septum rupture were all associated with poor outcomes while delayed revascularization was definitely associated with better outcomes so percutaneous closure is a potential technique in an isolated group of patients and the presence of cardiogenic shock or an inferior wall myocardial infarction as well as the serpiginous form of ventricular septum rupture all these do constitute important risk factors for mortality the device implantation is in general successful with few procedure related complications and should be applied on a case by case basis That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.